Do you know this man? He was the first known black doctor in Pittsburgh. He published the very first abolitionist newspaper west of the Alleghenies before becoming co-editor of Frederick Douglass's North Star. He was accepted into Harvard Medical School by Dr. Oliver Wendell Holmes himself. He led an expedition in Africa. He was commissioned by President Abraham Lincoln to the rank of major, making him the highest ranking black man to serve in the Union Army during the entire Civil War. He came to be known as the father of black nationalism. Before Malcolm X, before Marcus Garvey, before W.E.B. Du Bois, there was Martin Robeson Delaney. Why don't we know about this man? It's time we found out about him and a myriad of other incredible African Americans and their impact on the history of America and the world. I'm Wali Jamal, and this is History's Flipside. Abolitionist, newspaperman, historian, educator, African explorer, politician, poet, journalist, scientist, Civil War commander. Martin Robeson Delaney was all these things and more. His accomplishments were immense, to some extent unbelievable. But what was most unbelievable about this man is that his achievements went completely ignored by the mainstream history books and the public at large. Until now. History has shown that some of its greatest subjects were of people who came from very humble beginnings. Martin Delaney's story begins in Charlestown, Virginia. His mother, Patty Delaney, was a free woman, thus making all her children free. But because of very strict laws limiting the citizenship of free blacks, there were many things she would have to teach her children about being black in America. In 